We are a full month into the MLB season, so it's time we brought in our experts, Matt Curry and Ben Greenberg, to break down their probably still way too early power rankings. Now, guys, we, we've got to do it. So let's start here with number five. Ben, who you got? I have the San Francisco Giants. I mean, these are, these are the, the defending champions. Let's not forget they have a very well-rounded club. No individual is really lighted up too much, but everybody does their fair share. Very, very good baseball team. All right, I like the San Francisco Giants. We'll see them a little bit later. But the Kansas City Royals, I'm going to make wow. a splash here. Okay. I think they finally deserve some credit. Give them some credit. They've got a great record. They've got a great starting pitching staff that has anchored this team so far throughout the season. I think they can make a run, and I think they could really, really make that splash this year. They've they're, done a lot of good things. They're fun to watch. I'll give you yeah, that. Yeah, they're fun they're to watch. Alex Gordon, underrated leadoff hitter. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're ready for the top five in all of baseball <laughs> yet, hey, but who knows? All right, let's, let's go number four here. Who you got? I got the Texas Rangers. I really think this is a team that we saw at preseason. You know, they're a very solid team offensively, one of the best in the AL. But, you know, the one thing that's going for them is they have a weak AL West, a very weak AL West because – the Angels are not performing where they need to be. I think this is an easy pick for them. But honestly, who knows? In a month, they may be on their way out. I have the Red Sox. I think this team, first of all, is underrated on offense. They don't get a whole lot of respect there, but they have great team speed. Uh, they lead the American League in stolen bases. Uh, their pitching is decent. It, everybody holds their own. Nobody unbelievable, but their bullpen's been solid. With, uh, with, they lead the American League in holds as well. I think that team is, uh, has got a good shot. One, one thing I'll leave you with before that, yeah. 9 of 15 on save opportunities. That and bullpen, they're, the they're very end Their closer spot's shaky. Two I'll teams we expect to see most years, but the Red Sox are a sneaky team this year. Right. No one really expected top in the rankings. Now, number three, who you got? I have the Texas Rangers. Uh, Curry, you, you took most of my points here. I, I just think that they're a little bit better than you gave them credit for. Uh, you know what? They just swept the Bo Sox at home. Uh, which was a very, very impressive series. They hit in the clutch. The team loves each other, first of all. You know, they're, they're a lot of fun over there. It's a party in the dugout down there in Texas. Well, my, all right, my third team here has got to be the Detroit Tigers. I think they are one of the best teams in the AL, if not the yep. entire major leagues. They have a great starting rotation, and that's what they needed. They had the hitting. We all knew that. That lineup mm -hmm. is probably the best in the major leagues. If they can pitch throughout the season – they are, they're going to be there the entire way and possibly in the World Series. Yeah, stacked lineup top to bottom there. And a pitching staff, like you said, is slowly getting there as well, especially with Justin Verlander at the top. Now, number two team, we're getting down to the end here. Well, finally, the NL East makes an appearance here, and I have to go with the Atlanta Braves. They have absolutely been killing it. Upton has been out of this world. 12 home runs already. He's going to keep going at the rate he's going. It's just they play very solid baseball all around. Right. Pitching's great. Hitting's great. They have the timely hits, and that's why I have them at number two. The timeliness of, you know, what they can do on the field has been spectacular. Curry, absolutely. The, We've got some agreement here. Yeah. The Atlanta Braves Love at number it. two. Uh, you took most of the things that I, I wanted to hit on, except for the fact that, look, this, this team doesn't live and die by the long ball, yet they still hit enough of them uh, that they're going to make it through the long, hot summer down there in Georgia. And, uh, look, they have a, a tremendous outfield. BJ and Justin all out to great starts in different ways. Justin's been swinging the bat. BJ catches everything out there in center field. A great team, mostly a yep. young team, and a very good pitching staff as well. They've got everything going for them, but they're not your number one team, so who is? St. Louis Cardinals. This team is just built to last, okay? They won the championship in 2011. Last year, they were a game away from being in the Fall Classic. I think this team, first of all, is the greatest chemistry in Major League Baseball, I think, by far, uh, which means more than you would think. Uh, they lead the American League in sacrifice bunts. What does that show you? Once they get a guy on, they know how to bring them around and score. That's a team that's built for the postseason. Well, you know what team beat them last year? My number one pick in the San Francisco <laughs> okay. Giants. This is Wait a team, they're, they're coming on strong. They had three walk-offs. They went 6-1 and one the last week. Right. They are just on a roll, on a tear. You know, the pitching, we knew it was going to be good. The hitting, they have the timely hits. They're making their things happen. I don't know if they can keep it up, but for right now, they are hot, 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 and they are my number one team. I think our number one teams are going to meet up in the NLCS, so we'll yeah. see about that. I like the World Series chance being up there, but I don't like the lack of the Cardinals on your list, so <laughs> I, I just think Royals on there, Cardinals on, it's a little iffy there. Hey, 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 you never know. But you could be it's right. so early. It is only May, so we've still got time, but we have to take one more break. Up next, Greg and I tackle some questions on the Kentucky Derby, but we only have as long as it took Orb to circle the track. You won't want to miss this.